In XRD analysis, peak ship provide a lot of information about material. In today's video, I am going to explain that how doping affect the peak position of XRD spectrum. Sometimes the doping shape the peak towards the lower two theta angle. Sometimes the doping shape the peak towards the right. This means the higher two theta angle. Uh, there are two types of doping. The first is called substitutional doping and the second is called interstitial doping. When there is impurity or foreign atom and when it replace these host atoms here, so this is we call substitutional doping. So if the, the foreign atom or if the impurity atoms are bigger than uh, the, the host atom, so there will be expansion in the lattice. Because of that expansion, uh, we will have a larger uh, uh, atomic parameters, just such like the uh, lattice spacing or interplanar spacing. We know from Bragg's law that once we have large or greater interplanar spacings, so the two theta will, will be less because it is inversely proportional. So if the size of this impurity is greater than the host atom, so the peak will shift toward the lower angle. This is fine, 100% correct. Now if the foreign atoms replace the host atom and it is smaller in size, if it is smaller in size, so there will be contraction, there will be contraction in the lattice. This means the volume will decrease and because of that, the lattice spacing will less than the original one. So again, Brock's law says that if we have smaller lattice spacing, so we will have greater two theta and there is no other option, but the peak has to shift toward the right or the greater two theta angle. This was all about the uh, substitutional uh, doping. Now, because of this substitutional doping, there will be no change in the uh, uh, crystal structure, but there will be only change in the lattice parameter. Lattice parameter like A, B, C, or D. They, because the, the, this interplanar spacing and this uh, lattice constant are uh, linked with each other with the equation. So there will be change in uh, lattice parameter when there is substitutional doping. But now if there is a interstitial doping, interstitial mean when you just bring the foreign atom and it just occupy uh, some uh, place between the uh, two atoms. This is the, called interstitial doping or you can uh, bring the bigger atom here or smaller atom and again there will be contraction and expansion and it will also change the lattice uh, parameter but it will change the crystal structure. It's very important how the crystal structure because this is one unit cell here and there are billion million unit cells so we will have another type of structure here you see here because everywhere it will just keep the atom we will keep the atom on the face so we will have another type of crystal structure for example now this is simple cubic and if you bring the atoms here so it will become bcc here you see we change the crystal structure <laughs> and if you keep the uh, atom at uh, the face structure so it will again change the from bcc to fcc so interstitial doping not only shape the peak, but it also change the crystal structure, right? Now the third thing is basically because of this, there is a strain in the material and we know strain basically the macro strain, the macro strain, when there is a strain in the material, the macro strain. So if there is a tensile strain or compressio, this is basically the tensile strain. So because of that tensile strain, we have greater D, D is greater than the original. And again here we have the peak shift toward the left. If it is compressio here, the compressio a strain here, so we will have less D than the original D naught and smaller D mean greater 2 theta and the peak again will shift toward the uh, right, right. This is I explained already these all stuff here, uh, how the XRD peak shifts uh, due to doping and a very important thing I just uh, missed one thing. And that is basically uh, that uh, if we if we basically increase the concentration, if we increase the concentration of the doping, the concentration of the doping, 
So we may see uh, some other peaks here. Here are here are here some additional peaks. For example, if you want to dope here aluminium and zinc oxide, so it will it will it will it will make some aluminium uh, oxide or something. You see here because aluminium is from here and this oxygen is from there, so it will make this uh, another phase here. So additional phases here. We will have additional phases here. So additional phases mean we will have some other additional peaks here, right? So this is how doping affect the peak position.